Guys, one of the things you have to do, which is imperative and necessary for you to get people familiar with you, your project, your brand, whatever you're working on, is to do interviews. It's part of it, whether they're radio interviews, podcast interviews, magazine interviews, blog interviews, you need to be someone that gets interviewed. You have a publicist on your team that's gonna help you with that. You have your manager that'll also help you get interviews locked in. However, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the proper way to do an interview, uh, the etiquette and the do's and the don'ts. First, when you go to an interview, always be mindful of what you are there for. What is your goal? What is your agenda? What is your objective? Depending on the level of artist you are, depending what's going on in pop culture, the person doing the interview might try to like rope you into some conversation you don't want to get into. They might want to talk about a topic that you prefer not to talk about, but especially at the beginning, you feel inclined to just go with that interview because you're grateful that they're interviewing in the first place. So you don't want to shut them down on certain things. You just kind of want to say, oh, well, you know, and just go with the interview because you want to be cool with the person doing the interview. But if you go in there with the mindset of what your objective is and what your agenda is, you can never be swayed to talk about other things. Even when somebody else wants to talk about something that's not part of your goals, you let them talk about it and they go and they ask you a question like, yeah, so what do you think about, you know, whatever topic they're talking about? Like, I don't know, man, but he should be listening to my new single. You know, that's a way to like bring it back to what your goal is. Or, I don't know, man, but I know that if he was wearing my jacket, he'd look nicer out there. You know, whatever it is you're there promoting or branding, always pull it back and control the interview. Because a lot of people try to get sound bites, right? So, uh, where's my, here's my locker, right? So what we're talking about is interviews, right? How to control how to control the interviews, right? And this is essential in you trying to be the person and the artist that you want to be in staying on brand with who you are. You want to control the interview. It's awesome that people that want to interview, it's awesome they want to talk to you about certain things, but if it's not something you feel comfortable talking about, if it's not going to meet your agenda, now I'm not saying be a hard ass and don't answer questions that have nothing to do with your song, because of course you want to build a rapport, you want the audience to understand who you are, because like in my book, you got to sell yourself, not just what you're selling. And in order to sell yourself, you need to talk about things that matter to you, that people can relate to, things that uh, you stand for and represent. So that's something you can feel free to talk about. However, if there's things that make you feel uncomfortable and you don't want to talk about it, then you need to understand how to control this. This is also called media training, which your publicist can help you do. So by media training is they're going to teach you how to get in there and talk about your agenda. I'm basically media training you right now. So I've done it my whole career. Whether I'm the interviewer or I'm the interviewee, I've always controlled the interview because I know exactly what I need to talk about, what I need to get from the person that I'm with, and I bring them back there no matter how much they try to run off in a different direction. So even if I'm the artist being interviewed, I know for a fact that this person's going to want to talk to me about things that don't really fit my agenda. So I'm going to have a good time, I'm going to joke around, but I'm always going to bring them back to my single. And you can think of clever ways of doing that um, that's funny or entertaining or compelling without being a jerk about it. So control the interview. Always bring the interviewer back, right? Your objective is to talk about your music, your product, and what you're working on. So, when doing an interview, just be mindful to always control the interview and stay on course with your objective, your music. And guess what? More often than not, if you're super cool with the interviewer, you can even say things like this, man, you know what would be cooler than like talking about that? Let's play my song again. You know what I mean? Now it's funny, it's like, it's, uh, all right, cool, let's play your song again. You might get lucky to play it twice now because you joked around. So be personable, have manners, be polite, which we talk about in this course. But at the end of the day, you're there for one thing. And that thing is to promote your music. Part of promoting your music is building your network. So when you're there, another thing to be mindful of is network with the interviewer, network with the producer of the show, 
network with other people around, even the camera person. So when you're doing interviews, be sure to network and make contact with other people that are there. A lot of times you'll go to a radio station and let's say it's a known interviewer and you're an artist. You're like, oh, I'm just focused on talking to them because that's the man. You know who else is the man? The person that's the producer of the show. Uh, someone else that works at the radio station. Maybe another DJ at the station. So always, again, like I say in my book and in this course, treat everybody like a CEO because that guy that just you know got you guys something to drink could be the head... Uh, the head of radio promotions two years from now, or even take the place of the person that's interviewing you right now. And they're always gonna remember that you were a cool ass person and that you, you made contact with them, even get their number, take a picture with them. Do all these types of things because you may be thinking, ah, oh, like, who's this person? Why would I take a picture? But guess what's super killer? Two years from now, when they grow and they blow up, you got a picture of them already and you look dope because you were already chilling with them before they were anybody. So this, that's just a small tip. But anyways, be sure to network with other people there. Be sure that you stay focused on your objective. And that is how you have an effective interview. And then the other thing you might want to not do, that a lot of times interviewers will say, so what else are you working on? That's a question you don't want to answer um, unless you have some things that are super important to you that are going to connect what you're working on right now. Because you're there for your objective, right? So. When someone tries to ask you what else you're working on, be like, I'm not really focused on the future, I'm focused on this right here, this product right here. So what you need to do is stay focused. Stay focused on your objective because they'll try to bring you around and talk about other things like I said, but then a lot of times an interviewer, especially a poor interviewer, will be like, oh, so what else you got coming up? Like, what do you mean what else I got coming up? I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about this song right now that's crucial and priority for me. So always bring it back. Moral of the story, control the interview. Know your objective, make contacts with everybody there so you can add them to your network and stay focused on exactly what you're there to talk about in that interview. Again, you can joke around and talk about other stuff, but constantly bring it back to what your objective is because that's what you're there for and that's the whole purpose of your interview is to promote you, your music, your product, or your brand. So get familiar and stay focused when you do interviews.